Matt Lenehan Boxing Social and Association with Forge Irish Stout Empire Fight Store, freebets.com. We're here. Sean McComb, Sean, always one of my favourite interviews, very energetic, always got a little bit of summit on your mind. How's it been? Good, good, busy. Been training away and just hitting away nicely. Um, enjoying the training. Looking across your social medias and other people's, there's a suggestion that there's a big fight in the air for you. Um, I know you're probably not able to confirm anything until it's confirmed, but excited about what's to come potentially maybe in the next few weeks? Yeah, um, obviously my name's being thrown around with some big names in boxing. And, and for me it's very exciting because it's somewhere I believe I've always belonged amongst those names. Um, and Leighton is just, he's, he's pulled out of the bag. Right? Gemini. Yeah, so Leighton and, and Let's Go Management have done a massive job on getting me his fight. And he's, you know what? I had a great performance in December against Sam Maxwell. And uh, off the back of that, I did want a big fight. And Lee got straight to work. He, he, he actually was speaking about getting Jojo Diaz, who I was excited about. He obviously lost, so that didn't come off. And then he pulled through with an even better fight. So, I'm proper excited for it. You're at that stage in your career now where you've had the hard fights coming up domestically, you've not just had gimmies, and you've experienced obviously ups a little down, back up, but you're on a really good run of form at the minute. How confident are you feeling going into this big fight? Because the last sort of few fights, you've really sort of come into your own and stamped your authority on the division, especially especially domestically. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm very confident. Um, I'm not going to I'm not gonna go and fight someone at the top level and believe in just fighting someone at the top level. I believe I am top level. And, and my next next performance will show exactly why I belong right up there with the big names and, and I'm fully confident. What 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 you're seeing now is is what I've always had. Um, obviously I've had a couple of wee blips in my career and, and, and performances haven't been all at the high standard where I would like them to be. But in the gym my coach knows, Pete Taylor knows what I'm capable of and, and my teammates know what I'm capable of and, and I'm definitely going to go out and show the rest of the world what I can do. What's changed? You mentioned there sometimes performances haven't been scratched or whatever, but the last however many fights you've been bang at it. Um, not necessarily having to be devastating knockouts, but you've dominated fights. Like You've took them, took away what they do well and just completely dominated. So Sam Maxwell, prime example, um, did a really good number on him. What's, what do you put that down to? Is it a change of mindset? Is it something in the gym? What is it? Yeah, well, it's it's something in the gym. It's it's identifying what I'm good at and what I was always good at. Um, when when you go pro, there's when you go when you turn from amateur boxing to professional, there's this persona where you need to sit down on your punches and, and really plant your feet and not go heavy shots, which is something I started to drift into as soon as I turned professional. Um, and when I joined Pete, Pete was like. You've always been good at moving your feet, boxing, staying your toes, not getting hit. Let's, let's get it back. Let's do it. And Pete just identified exactly what I'm good at. And, and we've just stuck to it. I trust Pete. I trust his tactics and I trust his training methods. And everything he's done has got me where I am now. And uh, I'm just doing everything I was always good at. A lot of times when people want these big fights, um, they want to go, they like an away day. Can you confirm at least, is this going to be an away day, do you think? Yeah, it's an away day. It's an away day, and uh, it's 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 a pretty cool place. That's what I don't mean. Right. Well, this pretty cool place. So it's not going to it too much. So I'm going to get you into trouble or what, from what you know. But how excited are you to sort of go to one of these events, big press conferences? You've been a part of them, but big time where you can sort of flex yourself over there and really put yourself into the public eye in a mega way, and then follow it up ideally in your mind with a good performance. Yeah, you know what? It's going to be full of big personalities and big egos, um, and, and and I'll fit right in there. I'll fit in. I'll fit like a glove. And I, I, it's it's again, there's no pressure on me whatsoever. I'm just over here. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to put on a performance. I'm fully switched on, fully focused. I'll never be sidetracked by what's going on around me, by the big personalities, by the big big names around me, because. Um, my self-belief is I'm a big name. I don't care what they say or what the what social media has to say or what anyone else has to say. I know what I'm capable of and I know I, ever, I belong at that level, so it's only a matter of time before they see that. Going to go introduce them to Bang Bang Gravy Chip over there? Bang Bang Gravy Chip. They'll be wondering what the fuck Gravy Chips are, but I know what they are. That's all that matters. And when I'm done, they'll, they'll, they'll know what it is. 
I suppose if you could outline outline the next 12 to 18 months, I suppose the public will have a better idea in the next couple of weeks when they see um, maybe where you are fighting and what you're doing. Um, you must have that dream of capturing world honours and ticking that box of becoming a world champion here in Ireland. Yeah, 100%. It's every boxer's dream. It's every kid's dream um, to, to grow up and be, become a world champion. And, and my eyes are, my, my vision is, is, is fully set on it. And it has been. Even when I lost, I still had that vision of coming back and becoming world champion. And, and I'm here now. And, and you know what? In the next 12, 12 to 14 months, I'm literally like touching distance. I'm touching distance of a world champion. So um, now nah, it's getting real. It's time to turn it up a match. Well, look, um, can't wait to see what the announcement's going to be. I'm sure everyone here in Ireland and all your biggest fans and supporters are going to get behind you. Um, it's a good fight, Cardio. Let's just touch on this. This will go out tomorrow, but um, Conlon Boxing are putting on a terrific show. A load of good fights, a lot of 50-50s on the card. What are you looking forward to seeing here tonight? Yeah, you know what? There's been, it's been a great uh, setup. Um, Conlon Boxing coming back once again. Um, a lot of people thought that Obviously, when when Michael lost, it could have been the end of, of an era of Irish boxing, but it hasn't. They've continued <coughs> with their journey of managing fighters and, and promoting shows, and they've put on some great fights here tonight. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm very excited to see, see a, especially big Steve Moore coming back, big yes. cruiserweight. Um, he, he's in the building, and he's, he's heading in soon, so I'll get down and watch him. But um, it'll be, it'll, it's good because of... It's because of the weight class, cruiserweight division, is a, is a, it's a good division in the UK, it's a good division domestically. And you know what, I was just talking to him, you're never far away from the big fights and dom domestically when you're a cruiserweight. I mean, you're one fight away from potentially a, a good title fight, and, and that's what he needs to do today, get out and, and, and get himself back in the mix and throw his name in there. 100% well, he says, look, once this is done, hopefully there's a bit of summit at the end of the rainbow, but once again, he wasn't he wasn't keen to tell me what that was, but I'm sure there's reasons. Uh, Sean. Um, I appreciate you giving Boxer Social some of your time. Excited for your news. Big Stevie Wall is just about to walk, so I'll let you get off and we'll catch up again soon. Speak soon, now. Thank you.